ready for an awesome and beautiful day ahead, say, oh yeah, I am too. Let's start it off as we do every Wednesday. This is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hey, we get the knowledge. Hey, to go to college. Hey, but don't stop there. Hey, go anywhere. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hooray! Today, I am joined by Hector, Helena, Hubert, and of course, Tamika. And Stinky's hanging out with all of them over there. I wonder if Finn will join us at some point. Today, we get to celebrate our ABC Countdown to Summer with two special letters. The first is the letter I. And today we celebrate the letter I with an inside out day. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing my shirt inside out. This is a shirt Jamari and his mom got me. Thank you so much. And I decided to wear it inside out in spirit alongside each of you. Today when you're getting dressed out of your PJs, make sure you wear something inside out. Snap a picture and send it my way so I can share with others. Speaking of which, I got a ton of hat day pictures yesterday. Let me show you some of the fun your teammates are having yesterday. All right, we don't just get to celebrate the letter I today, we also get to celebrate the letter J. Today is also joke day. Get ready for a few laughs. More on that in just one moment. First, let's get started with some shout outs. We have shout outs from kindergarten, first grade, and second grade today. Get ready to show some enthusiasm. Here we go. First shout out is from Miss Pearson. Miss Pearson wants to recognize Liani. Liani has been bringing in so much energy and focus to each and every one of her conferences with Miss Pearson. Liani gets some tricky problems from Miss Pearson, but she does not give up. She knows that if it's tough for her, that means her brain is working hard and growing. And it's a great opportunity to get better every day. Keep that up. I love hearing about that. Let's say way to go, Liani. Proud of you, Liani. Next up, Miss Blackney has a special shout out for Joseph. Joseph has been working so hard on Freckle that he is currently on fact power level nine. That shows that Joseph does not quit. He keeps practicing to grow that brain. He's also going above and beyond. Even when he doesn't have to practice, he's not assigned to it. He's doing that. So he's even more ready for first grade. Say, keep it up, Joseph. Wow, that is impressive. Speaking of Freckle, I want to jump up to second grade right now because Miss Meeks noticed three of her teammates on Monday when we had the day off from school. These three teammates did not take a break off of Freckle. They continued growing their brain even when they didn't have to. Those scholars are Maya, Ariel, and Nailene. Really proud of each of those scholars for growing their brain and showing that they have the power to make those decisions on their own. 
Say way to go, Bison. Proud of those teammates. Let's hop right back down to first grade because we have several shout outs coming from teammates there. First one is from Miss Flaherty who wants to recognize Stavina. <sighs> Stavina is like many of us. Give me a me too sign if you're like Stavina and you miss your teammates, you miss school, you miss coming to school. I miss it every single day. But Stavina has not given up. She comes to conferences just like Liani, focused and ready to grow her brain and proving that she has power even while we're away from school. Say way to go, Stavina. Really proud of you, Stavina. The last shout out today comes from Miss Doherty for her teammate, Edward. Edward faced some challenges this week on part total problems, but he did not give up. He slowed down, checked his work, went back, fixed his mistakes, and kept growing, kept pushing through. It shows a lot of self-determination and shows that Edward has the power to grow into the second grader he almost is. Say way to grow, Edward! I love hearing when scholars don't give up when it's tough. No, oh, I told you, Finn's here. Hey, Finn! All right, scholars, it's time for us to celebrate joke day in a pretty funny and unusual way. We're gonna do something this workout Wednesday that we've never done before. Are you ready to see what we're up to? Come with me. Hey, scholars. Today is such a beautiful day for our workout Wednesday. So my idea is that we go for a walk together. You can do the same with your parents afterwards. Today, I'm making sure I'm being safe, keeping myself healthy, my family healthy, and all my neighbors and community members healthy. So I'm wearing a mask. I'm gonna do that just in case. All right, I also have a list of jokes so we can continue our celebration of joke day. Come take a walk with me. a joke. Come on over, scholar. Why did the teddy bear say he didn't want dessert? He was stuffed. <laughs> Let's continue. Come on. All right, scholars, next joke. What is fast, loud, and crunchy? Give up? A rocket chip. <laughs> Let's keep going. We're about to cross a busy street, so I make sure that I'm always with an adult if I'm a kid. I look both ways, and I always walk in a crosswalk if one's available. Let's wait to do those things. Ready for the next joke? Why did the scholar eat her life work? Because her teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> Let's keep going. At a stop sign, let's tell another joke. Okay, scholars, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> 
Do you get it? Seven, eight, nine. Oh, too funny. Let's keep walking. We're going up a hill. When you're on your walks, take a look at flowers you love. Look at all these colors. So beautiful. I think it's time for another joke. All right. As I stop and look at the beautiful flowers, it's time for another joke. I can take my mask down because none of my neighbors are around me, so I know it's safe. All right, scholars, get ready for this one. Why did the cookie go to the doctors? Give up? because it felt crummy. Get it? Crummy cookie? Let's keep walking. Wow, so many gorgeous flowers. Look at all these colors. Beautiful. some more beautiful flowers. Time for another joke. Hey, ready scholars? How do you talk to a giant? Give up? You use big words. Get it? Giants, big words. Love that one? Let's keep walking. Putting my mask back on. Let's skip to the next stop sign. You ready? Here we go. scholars I have another joke for you this one goes out to my second graders who I know will really get this one scholars what time is it when the clock strikes 13 give up it's time to get a new clock <laughs> all right scholars math's back on let's go come on All right, scholars, ready for another joke? Okay, why did the scholar bring a ladder to school? Because she wanted to go to high school. Get it? Just like you, I can't wait till you get to go to Brook High School. Let's keep walking, mask back on. Perfect time for two more jokes. Here we go. What do elves learn in school? Give up. The alphabet. We have one more joke. Let's get to the top of this hill. Let's go. I'm gonna try to get to the top of the hill race walking the entire time. When I race walking, when I'm race walking, I keep my feet flat. I go like this. I keep my legs straight just like that. It's super tricky. I want to see if anyone knows how to do it. Ready, set, go. That was a great workout Wednesday so far. 
because I am tired. My muscles feel like they're growing. Oh, I'm really proud of you if you're able to get outside today. And if not, you can go another beautiful day with your families. Don't forget to be safe. But before you go, I have one more funny joke. My favorite of the day. Ready? What is a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? Ready? Oh. All right, scholars, I'm going to walk back home. I'll see you back in my house. Let's go. All right, scholars, Finn and Stinky decided to stay with us. Oh, okay, I'll see you later, Finn, because we're going to close out this beautiful workout Wednesday with a continuation of our celebration of our ABC countdown to summer with a couple more jokes. Now, in just a moment, you're gonna watch some kids like you tell some pretty funny jokes. Your job today is to send me a video or a text with your silliest joke to try to make me laugh. If you send that video today, I might be able to share those jokes of yours with your teammates tomorrow in tomorrow's morning motivation. Got it? Remember, your job, send me something even funnier than what you're about to hear. Say hit it! Do you know any jokes? Yeah. You do? Uh huh. Tell me the funniest joke you know. What did the pig say when he was in the sun? I'm bacon! What do you call cheese that's not yours? I don't know. Nacho cheese. Knock, knock. Who's there? I smell mop. I smell mop poo. Ew! Ew, you smell your poo? Uh huh. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? Oh, ew, what? A stick. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what I was thinking of? Can I hear a joke? Yeah. The funny joke is a clown. Do you get it? Yeah. How does the ocean say hello? I'm not sure. He waves. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. No. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? The chicken went to the store to go get some eggs because the farmer, if he didn't get the eggs each and every time the farmer came, the farmer would eat him. Hit me with your best joke. Why do eggs don't tell jokes? Why? Because they crack up. Why does the ant roll on wheels? I don't know. Me neither. Why did the skeleton go to prom? Why? Because he didn't have the guts. Knock, knock. Who's there? Spell. Spell who? W-H-O. All right, tell me a joke. Hmm. Um. Hmm. I don't really hear a lot of jokes. I don't know funny jokes, I just know jokes. I do not know any. What's a joke? A joke is like a funny thing you say to make people laugh. I like a lot of like dad jokes. I got nothing. Tell me the funniest joke you know. My boss told me to have a good day, so I went home. What do you do when you see a spaceman? I don't know. You park, man. What do you call an avocado that walked the, to the church? Holy guacamole. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Banana head eaten by your brain. <laughs> do you think you're pretty funny? Uh, if I think about it, yes. <laughs>